Hi everybody and welcome to Cole's Place. My name's Colin, great to have you along and thanks for tuning in to another video. Okay, so I'm still here on the sunny island of Tenerife, normally sunny, but it's dark because it's approaching midnight and I'm right in the heart of Playa de las Americas. Okay, the temperature, according to my finger and the thing on the phone and these little thermometer clocks is an amazing 26 degrees, so it's still nice and warm. If you're first time on the channel, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you've not done so already and there's a little bell you can push which will tell you when I'm putting up more videos. I'm talking very quick and loud because there's loads of music going on. Let me pan round and show you exactly where I am and I'll tell you what we're going to do. Right, okay, so I'm down, as I said, right in the centre of Playa de las Americas. I've uh, got the, the patch there, uh, complex of bars and shops, done a vlog on that. Right opposite me, great timing. I've got the Gaelic Corner and the Dublin Bar down below. Uh, big Irish uh, venue and the singer Peter, he's just finished his song. It sounds like he's having a break. So uh, you can hear what I'm saying. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to walk up this way. Uh, I've not walked up this way this trip of a night time. So I'll show you what's going on. I've just come over from uh, the Hard Rock Cafe Golden Mile area and everywhere is absolutely bustling. It is very lively tonight. Very, very lively. Now, it is approaching midnight, so I do warn you, if you're going to carry on watching, I am going to head up to Veronica's area. Uh, you may see or hear some drunk people in their reactions. So, just to let you know, that might happen. Uh, there'll also be bars with loud music. I will be sort of uh, either editing the music out, or if I can get away with it, talk over it. But we're okay for a few minutes, because this is a fairly genteel family area. So got a little strip here, Railway Tavern. Most of uh, you have been to Tenerife. Or have watched this, mine or the other videos. You'll know exactly where we are. Palms, Chippy, the Bell, and uh, you've got your little row of shops. There we go. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go up here. And uh, there's a couple of new places up here, I believe. So uh, we'll go and have a look. Hope everybody's well. As I said, Saturday night. And it's absolutely bouncing. Uh, the Golden Mile... I've just done a vlog, uh, I'll try and get that one up first so you can see it. Absolutely chocker. Gaelic Corner and a patch, both absolutely chocker. And uh, even down this end of town, as I said, I've been here since a week last Thursday. I was around this area all last Saturday night and it wasn't half this busy. This weekend seems to have uh, gone a bit nuts. A little bit quieter now, a bit more chilled. Had a great week up to now, uh, done loads, got loads of videos coming your way. Uh, I know I keep promising in previous vlogs, uh, but Cyan Park, uh, parasailing, all them to be edited and to come. I've done some more walks and some other sort of uh, different type of stuff as well. So, uh, as I say, if you've not subscribed and you want to see all that, subscribe, thumbs up, do all the business for me. If it's your first time on the channel, um, I come over here usually two or three times, more if I can a year. And I don't mind doing these walks because there's not many doing them at the moment. Um, I know a lot of you have seen it before and you ask for it again. Don't mind that. There's a new place, Wakanda. Been open about a year or so, I think. Somebody will correct me. Cocktails. They have live music, I believe, as well. Get taken out here. PJs, busy. Yes. Yeah, and uh, for those of you who've uh, not seen my channel before, scroll down over the past year. I've been here, what, three, four times in the past year. I always try and do a couple of nighttime ones. I know it doesn't always show Tenerife in the best light, but... I show you how it is. A uh, little bit edgy sometimes, and uh, <laughs> I get shouted at. But if uh, if I'm down at Veronica's at two in the morning, I'll show you it. Like a couple of other channels, you know, these walks I, I do do them, um, but I also try and. Uh, 
not that there are many dangers in Tenerife in Las Americas but where there are sort of dangers and iffy bits I try and show me the best I can according to what knowledge I've, I've got of the place okay guys so from here on uh, we're heading towards Veronica's uh, it gets a bit younger so uh, if you I mean there are families around look you can still see it's not that bad at all it's just approaching midnight but like any high street on a Saturday night in the UK you might always get the odd one idiot so uh, just warning you before you carry on watching <laughs> excuse me so up that road there that takes you up towards the Anchor Bar, Columbus Hotel, uh, Chieftain, all that sort of those sort of places. <laughs> For those of you who watched my uh, live the other night, the Sunset Live, that's where I go for me 5am Chinese takeaway when I've had a skimful. <laughs> Confessions of Colin. Uh, right to the right, we've got Traveller's Rest. And we've also got next to that one, there's a bar called Leonardo's, which uh, normally has yeah, it's live music on, massive screens outside. If that's uh, your thing on a Saturday afternoon, watch the footy, that's where you need to be. See the screens? Great venue, great spot. If you've not seen any of my previous videos or you've not seen them for a long time i'm going to refer you to a video i made last year about a year ago now there's an alleyway tucked in the corner there you just see the guys walking out of it okay at this time of night when you're in a big group watch the video don't go up it alone when all these bars here have shut because it does get very secluded and isolated in fact to be honest with you don't go up any alleyway or any off any back street if you're coming over on holiday and you're on your own. Not that it's a bad place, but there's always the odd dodgy hanging round. That's all I'm going to say. I'd never put anyone off coming to Tenerife. I love the place, but like any resort abroad, it does have its uh, one or two possibilities that you have to be aware of right i'm just going to try and go over this road she's going to let me yeah there we go right steakhouse In terms of person per square foot, this is the quietest part of Las Americas I've seen. Mind you say now, 12 o'clock, it is a little bit early for this part of town. It's just about getting busy now. Which is good, because hopefully we'll see the best of people, not the worst. <laughs> a few people have asked me, what am I going to do? Uh, when I was here last time in March, I did a sort of two in the morning walk. Um, some people said it wasn't what they were expecting one way or another. I think people were expecting stabbings and muggings and all this, that and the other. Um, a couple of bits did happen in the video that maybe you didn't see or didn't pick up. Um, but yeah, I will do something similar before uh, the end of the week before I go home. But this time I'll do it slightly differently. Having said that, if there is blood and guts and stabbings, you do understand YouTube regulations, obviously won't be able to publish it. So, uh, but listen out for it anyway. So this is a Starco building, uh, massive history on the nighttime uh, sort of uh, aspect of Las Americas. You've got rags down the bottom, tramps around the corner. I think Linacus is back open now. Uh, there's a couple of Irish bars around there, Garrison and all that sort of stuff great little area um, yeah been in there many a time still go in there when I want to think I'm 21 <laughs> so that's Starco that is not Veronica's that's over there Veronica's is behind me that's Starco that's one complex of ours over there with the red red and white place there is lava lounge and then what you do if you want to go to Veronica's 
sure you can hear the music. I'm sure it's being picked up by now. I'm going to give you some handy hints, right? If you're down here and you're with your mates and you get split up, right? Do not, under any circumstances, if you're on your own, especially if you're a young guy with your phone and money in your pocket, walk under any of these walkways. Stick to the steps and get yourself up on this main street as quick as you can. <laughs> and don't get too drunk. Sound like a dad, don't I? Okay, so this is Veronica's. You've got Veronica's one, Veronica's three, Veronica's two, Veronica's four. Don't ask me why they're in that num numerical order. I think it's the order in which they were built. Normally, when I do these walks, I go down into the bars. If you check my previous vlogs, I don't believe many other vloggers do, but I'll actually go in the bars. I'm not on this walk purely because I've not been down and seen the guys who sort of uh, I'm familiar with on security and the management, and I don't just want to take advantage and walk in. Uh, it's polite, I believe, to ask first. They would let me, but as you can see, I've just walked down here. I'm not just going to waltz in. But just to give you an idea, Veronica's one, there's no Neil's Irish sort of theme bar on top, Revolution, Jumping Jack, Sugar Reef. They're the three busiest on any given night of the week. Um, playing commercial dance, house music, all that sort of stuff, bit of cheese. You're talking 18 to 30, definitely. Veronica's three, your D Sports Bar, open all day. It's one of the only ones that is open all day, shows all the football when it's footy season. Then you've got a run of uh, takeaways. I'm just going to step back a little bit, guys. Bear with me. Bear with me. No, mate. No. Right, okay, so then you've got uh, Veronica's free. I've just got a bit of a problem off camera. It won't be a second. Right, we're there. We're gone. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, Veronica's free, Oasis Bar, Ra Ra's up on top, both great little bars. Vic was here, my friend, last week. We were in a couple of these. We went in Oasis, had a couple of drinks. Then you got a fairly new one there. Uh, you got Mambo, or Mambo. And then up on top, the iconic steps that used to be Bobby's Bar and Busby's. There you go, a bit of cinematic. It's now Buho, not been in there, can't tell you what that one's like. And then underneath it, the trees are obscured. I mean, I'll just go down here. I'll tell you what happened back there in a minute. It wasn't a massive problem, it, uh, you know. Uh, got Envy, been in there, great bar. Joyce Club, not bad, been in there. Then you got a KFC, couple more takeaways. And then I'll just show you the venue at the very end. There you go, we've got Papageo, an absolutely superb venue. What I'll do, I'll walk around the side of it where it's a bit quieter and uh... <coughs> show you the side of uh, Papago. Papago is an absolutely superb venue. Uh, for those of you who know your music, uh, they opened their summer season last, I think it was last Saturday, with an international sort of DJ uh, set by Camel Fat and the uh, place is absolutely bouncing. What I would give to do a, an hour set in there on a good night. Very nice, get all ages in there. Unfortunately, because it's got uh, the Veronica's stigma attached to it, I don't think it gets the uh, plaudits it deserves. There we go. And that, folks, is the Veronica strip at midnight on a Saturday. Uh, I did have to pause recording there. It wasn't nothing major. There was one of the uh, lucky, lucky guys and one of his friends. Uh, he came sort of to one side, asked if I wanted, uh, you know, certain substances. When I said no, he put his hand down to my right pocket, which is where my wallet is. So I just had to stop and uh, deal with the situation. <laughs> That's why if you're filming, down here on a Saturday, you stay strictly sober and you keep your wits about you. Because they don't mean any harm, they just try and, you know, take it. Anyway, enough of that. So, yeah, Papa Gale Bar, and then you've got the rest of Veronica's. All right, I'll just point out as well, uh, 
I see a lot of people on various social media saying what's Hotel Troy like? I've heard it's uh, close to Veronica's. Uh, what's the Salt Tenerife like? How close is it to Veronica's? Can you hear it? Do you get trouble? There's also Hotel Gala there. So uh, that's uh, Salt Tenerife. Hotel Gala's just there. And there's Hotel Troy there. And there's also a couple up behind Starco. Can't remember the names. If you have a look at Scotsman in Tenerife, he's actually stayed in a couple of them. Um, so just be wary. You can hear it now. It is midnight. The camera, I'm sure, is still picking up these sort of sound clash. Uh, how busy it is. So if you've not been to Tenerife before and you find yourself booking one of those hotels, uh, it might be worth contacting them and just saying, uh, you know, what the noise level's like, if you like your night's sleep. Having said that, if you like your nights out and you like your nightlife, they're the hotels to go for because you don't have to get a taxi and literally stagger home. There we go. Okay, hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, that was a walk from the patch area of Play de las Americas down to Veronica's uh, at uh, <laughs> 10 past midnight on a Saturday night. I haven't even had a pint yet, so uh, that's worth a thumbs up, those of you who know me. Okay, so yeah, give it a thumbs up, help the video along. Hope you enjoyed it, hope it showed you what it was like in the raw. The, the, the lucky lucky men they weren't causing trouble they were just being a bit persistent and uh, yeah so i'll do more videos i am going to do a late later later one down here uh, but with a different sort of angle to my last one take a look at it if you haven't done so already and uh, if you haven't subscribed then subscribe as well i want to get to the magic 3000 before i get home i've got five six more days here sure i'll do it you let helping me take it easy enjoy the rest of your weekend Look out for more videos, there's loads to come. Thanks for watching, take it easy.